What is going on, my Golden Nugget family? It has been a while since we've been here. I am your host, Terry Tillman, aka Mr. LCA, when we merged to GNOG, GNOG, and boy, we got a bombshell today that hit. The market has been a bear market. We haven't been talking about Golden Nugget. We've kind of moved on into our new play, in a sense, where we're talking about Meta Materials, ticker symbol MMAT. But boy, I'm so glad I held on to the old reliable Golden Nugget. I never sold anything, but I do have an update on Golden Nugget. What did I do on this big 50-some percent jump today, guys? Did I sell? Did I just hold? Did I buy more on the news that were being bought out by DraftKings? Stay tuned for this video, man, if you're one of my old Golden Nugget family. And if you're an old Golden Nugget family, stepping back in because we're talking about Golden Nugget, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell notification because just like Golden Nuggets news today, guys, I had the same kind of feeling that the new stock we talk about, Meta Materials, ticker symbol MMAT, is going to have the same kind of stuff happen. It just takes a while for stuff to develop, and then boom, it develops, and you make all your money in one day. So, hope you are ready for today's video. If you are, smash the thumbs up. Check out the links down below, and baby, let's go! All right, guys, so here we are on Robinhood. Check it out. Stock is set in $18.10. So, check this out, guys. I mean, the stock was just hanging in the $11 and $12. And then next thing you know, boom, we are up 56% as of right now. And would you ever think there'd be a time and day where you see Golden Nugget up over 50% in a single day in this bear market? Look at the chart from a year ago. I mean, I was covering this stock back when it was in the $20, $25, $27 range. I was covering it back down here. We dipped the whole way down this bear market and then boom, we shot back up. So here's the news guys right here. DraftKings to acquire Golden Nugget Online Gaming in an all-in deal valued at $1.56 billion. So yes, Tillman has decided to sell Golden Nugget. DraftKings said Monday has entered an a agreement to acquire Golden Nugget Online Gaming and an all-in stock deal valued at $1.56 billion. The acquisition will enable DraftKings to leverage Golden Nugget's well-known brand, iGaming product experience, and existing combined database with more than 5 million customers. The sports betting company said in a statement, as a part of the deal, DraftKings has entered a commercial agreement with Fertitta Entertainment, the parent company of the Houston Rockets, Golden Nugget, LLC and Landry's LLC, a leader in gaming, restaurant, hospitality, and sports entertainment industry. The company said in a statement, DraftKings is expecting to deal a deal to generate $300 million in synergies at maturity. Under the terms of the deal, Golden Nugget shareholders will receive 0.365 DraftKings shares per each share owned. The deal is expected to close in the first quarter of 2022. Golden Nugget share soared 29% while DraftKings was down 2.7%. So, taking all this into consideration, here's what I have to put out to you guys. We're currently in a bear market, guys, where, you know, seeing any kind of gains lately has been kind of few and far. All we've been seeing is red, 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 and red. So, what I want to point out, did we have a video talking about this possibility in the future happening? And yes, I got it for you right here, guys. Right here it is, the video. I did this video March the 1st, 2021. So this was about six months ago we covered this. Golden Nugget to the Moon stock update. Golden Nugget to get bought out by DraftKings. That was my title. We had over 2,000 views. 157 likes, not a single dislike. Um, there was someone, I believe, just commented on this newest first. Oh, someone here two hours ago. Well, I guess Mr. Mead's hunch was accurate. That's right. Uh, this gentleman here commented on there, so I appreciate that. And yes, right here, Will Mead's Twitter page 
Uh, he says right here in his post, Golden Nugget online is even cheaper than the score. Has live sports betting in Michigan and New Jersey. Very good chance that DraftKings or FanDuel or Penn to buy both GNOG and the score this year. There just aren't that many online sports betting companies. So we talked about that in that video back in March. And it happened today. It took six months. So if you're a meta millionaire, you know, a meta materials fan, just because stuff isn't happening today doesn't mean that it won't happen down the road. Give it six months, give it a year. Stuff happens, guys. Look at this. I mean, look at the last three months of this stock, guys. I mean, we did have a little burst there in June, but it kind of went right back down to $11 and then boom, getting acquired, boom, $18. And some a share. So here's what I do want to run down with you guys. Yes, I sold all of my golden nugget. Yes, I did. I sold every single share. You can look at my buying power here at Robinhood. I have over two thousand dollars in buying power. Um, I sold 110 shares. We're going to cover that later, actually. So let's go back. Um, so yes, we did call that prediction back here in March, and it was correct. Um, if I go here and look at uh, right here you can see my Fidelity account where I did sell the 135 shares right there it is class GNOG at 1816 a share and I got a price of $2,451 so what I want to do here is I made a little profit sheet guys now I'm not here to gloat it's not like I made a huge amount of money I'm not the richest guy in the world I'm just an average Joe you know took some stimulus money took some money I had building up and I was investing it in Golden Nugget. So that's what it's all about. I've held those shares for over a year. Um, when I started first buying Golden Nugget, it was in July of 2020. Scroll back in my videos to July of 2020, and mainly all my videos were Golden Nugget and Genius Brands, guys. You will see that. So here is the spreadsheet, and let's just go over this real quick. So yes, Fidelity, I sold 135 shares at a price of 18.16 a share. That was worth $2,451.60. My average on Fidelity was about $13.50 a share. I sold 135 shares. Got uh, my average price I had in was $1,822.50. My Fidelity total profit was around $629.10. So that was around about 33% profit. Um, yeah, 629 and 822, about 30 some percent profit. 30, 35% profit on Maiden Fidelity. Hey, 30 some percent profit in a year, I'll take it. That's good profit, guys, on an $1,800 investment. Um, cashed out $24.51 on one day of news, um, which is great. Robinhood, I had 110 shares at an average cost at $3.10, I believe is what it was. It was $3.10 or $3.11, but I'm pretty sure it was $13.10. So my average was $1,441. Uh, I sold my Robinhood shares at $18.17, which got me $1,998.26. My Robinhood total profit was $557.26, which gave me uh, around 28% or so profit. Gives me my total profit of $1,186.36. So that is the numbers, guys. Now, I did have uh, 10 shares on Weeble as well. I had about a $14 and so average cost. So I probably made $40 or $50 on those 10 shares in the Weeble account. But I didn't feel like really putting that here on this spreadsheet to show you guys. Um, like I said, if I would have kept buying in this dip, these numbers would have been a lot more fantastic. I have money in a lot of other stocks. I have money in MMAT. I have money in BARK Bark. I have a lot of money in Genius Brands, G N U S. Uh, what else do I got money in? Oh my God. Uh, a lot of money's in CCIB, man, Lucid Motors. That's where a lot of the money's at. Uh, also have money in Body, ticker symbol B O D Y. He's going to be Beach Body. So I got a lot of money in plays that I do think stuff's going to happen. So it just so happened in this bear market that Golden Nugget came out fantastic news. Now, that doesn't say I'm not going to rebuy back in the Golden Nugget because this merger is going to take a while to go. We're in a bear market. When you see profits shoot up 50-some percent, 60 percent a day, you better take it, guys. I've learned my lesson. I, if you look back here on the chart, I was covering this back at 20-some dollars, $26 in December, guys, and I didn't sell it. 
and I watched it go the whole way back down to eleven dollars. Fifteen dollars off each a share that I lost from that, you know, twenty. So ten dollars each off a share right now from where I was about at twenty eight to eighteen. So you know what? I locked in my profits because I am afraid this can come back down. We're still in a bear market. DraftKings can come down, which means Gold Nugget's going to come back down. So if that happens. I could decide to take my profits and put them back in the Golden Nugget, which is possible because you're still going to get uh, about a third of DraftKings shares. So that's another reason, uh, the point of why I did decide to sell. If I have 100 shares of Golden Gold Nugget, my plan was to sell covered calls. But I can't sell covered calls on like if I have 100, 110 shares, I'm going to get around 33 or so, maybe 35 36 DraftKings shares. Well, 36 shares of DraftKings isn't going to help me sell covered calls. So that's where I was kind of put in that tough spot. Um, I think even with my 110, 100, even 245, 255 shares total, if I added in my Weeble, Fidelity, and Robinhood, that still doesn't get me 100 shares of DraftKings and I combined them all together. So if I can't build out a position, to where I at least get 100 shares, to where I can start selling covered calls. It just doesn't seem you know, plausible for me to hold on to those shares if I can't do the covered call strategy. So that's another reason why I decided to sell. But like I said, um, I wanted to capture my gains, guys. We've all learned this. We've been on the channel. We were all so happy when this was $25, $26, and it plummets down. We didn't sell, and everybody was mad. So I saw this shoot up and I said, I'm not letting it go. I got to sell and get profit. If it goes up more, congratulations to people that held. But like I said, man, where you never marry a stock, you just date it. Anytime you get profits, huge profits. If MMAT shoots up, you know, 50, 60% in one day, you got to sell some stock and take profits, man. We've all learned that. We were in torch. It shot up. We held through the merger and boom, it's back down. So. We learned our lesson in this, and this was my golden nugget update, man. That, that's what's going on. I have a lot of buying power now. I have over $2,000 in buying power. I may go buy this MMAT Meta dip right now. So if you're a golden nugget fan, check out my videos on Meta, man. They have a lot going on like Golden Nugget did, and they have this possible earnings coming up, and there could be some press releases where they could be with dealing with Tesla, Volkswagen, Samsung, so many companies that Meta can be dealing with. So, whoo! I didn't even take a break, man. I'm just rambling on here. But anyway, Golden Nugget family is, you know, for right now, it is the end of the Golden Nugget journey, man. The Golden Nugget is ended for now. But it doesn't say I may not rebuy in later on, you know, if it dips down good or DraftKings stock goes. Because I know Golden Nugget now is a part of DraftKings, so maybe I could be a part of that in the future. So we'll see. Uh, this is just the beginning of this road, man. we got a lot of years of investing to do. We've got great gains on this, you know, so I'm super excited. So... Hope you all enjoyed this Gold Nugget video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.